Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be filming a Primark haul, holiday edition. I've not been there in a while, but I knew there were some bits and pieces that I wanted to pick up for my holiday. Mainly sandals, thanks to Anika Beauty, and I ended up spending a little bit too much. So I'm not sure if it's gonna be a try on haul because this is like the last weekend we have before the holiday and we're going today to halt to, for a wedding, which is tomorrow. So it's gonna be a very, very hectic week ahead. Fingers crossed it is, and if it's not, I'm sorry. There's not too many clothes though, so hopefully you don't mind too much. I'm gonna try and just do this randomly, like not in any sort of order. So the first thing I picked up were five pairs of trainer socks. Um, these were two pounds. Me and my husband both wear black socks all the time and we are always needing to replace them. So we just got those. From the beauty section, I picked up these Alex Steinhardt Pore Balance Blemish Rescue stickers, which looks so interesting. I recently watched a video from Hey Claire, and she said that she uses like blemish stickers when she gets the spot. And recently, my skin has been absolutely freaking out and just breaking out, especially like over here and over here, which could be to my hijab or my pillow. I don't know what it is, but my skin has been the worst it's ever been. So these are three pounds for 22 stickers, and they are supposed to easily bite blemishes and they've got salicylic acid and tea tree oil in it and they are supposedly there to calm redness and inflammation for a clearer complexion so I'm really hoping that they are gonna work. The next item I picked up is a cardigan. This is in the size small which is the Primark size 10 to 12 and it is nine pounds and it looks like this. It's coming up a little bit richer in the camera than it does in reality. It's a little bit more of a muted color, but I thought this would be so, so nice just to put on top of a sort of summer dress or a nice shirt. As you can see, it's not the thickest, but it's just an extra layer. So in the evening times as well, when you wanna go out, but you don't wanna, you know, just be in a dress, this is a nice thing to just put on your shoulders. And then if it gets warm, you can put it on properly and stay warm as well. I also picked up a PS Sun Protect Lip Balm. This is SPF 50 and it was just one pound. You never really think about lips when you're thinking about sun care, I don't think, or I don't anyway, but this has vitamin E and jojoba oil in it and it's supposed to protect against UV rays. I do love a good primer brush. I haven't got that many, but the ones that I have, I really do enjoy them. And this is from their PS Pro line and it looks very similar to a Sigma brush. This is the foundation and concealer blending brush. It's got an angled shape and it allows for precision application, easy contouring of the face. I think I'm gonna take this with me this weekend to see how it works. But yeah, for three pounds, I just thought it was a really, really good price point. I'll just show you guys. You can see the bristles are just really, really tapered and really interesting. And they're very, very soft to the touch as well. So I'm looking forward to trying this out and seeing what I think. I do typically like to use a damp sponge over a blending brush, but every now and again, all particular foundations, I will pick up a brush and that looked like a good buy. I then picked up this pound fifty medium blow dry brush. I have got a blow dry hair dryer thing, but I never really use it. And you do need this brush to kind of get the maximum use out of that. So just staple really. And then I picked up this mascara. Now, you, if you guys know me, you know I'll never pay more than five pounds for a mascara. Personally, I just, my lashes are not even all there anyway. So there's no point in me paying that much money. This looks very familiar to another brand. And I'm sure you guys will know exactly what I'm talking about when you have a look at it. Even the picture on the side looks very familiar. But it was three pounds. It's supposed to be the False Lash Queen Dramatic Volume Mascara. And I just thought for three quid, might as well give it a go. I then picked up some PS Round Cosmetic Pads for 50p. It's like every single time I go into Primark, I have to pick up these. They're just really, really good for putting your micellar water on and just removing any southern mascara and eye makeup. And then I picked up two pairs of trousers. So these are a pair of collots. They are wide leg. They've got like crepe material. My sister has one or two of these in different colors from, she went to Malaysia, she brought them from there. And they just look so lightweight and perfect for summer. I am definitely a lover of wide leg trousers. I'm just hoping they don't come up too short against me because I've not tried these on. The queue was so long to try stuff on on Friday when I went. So hopefully they look good, but this is such a staple. I mean, even for this today's outfit, they would look really nice. And these were a total of 13 pounds and they're in the size 10. The next item that I picked up, I specifically went into Primark looking for was a pair of white trousers. I don't own any white trousers and I think they're such a staple for a summer wardrobe. But now, especially because I'm going on holiday, I really, really wanted to make sure that I had a pair of my wardrobe. And these I got in the size 10. They're 15 pounds, which 
you know, it's not the cheapest, but for a pair of trousers of this quality, it's very, very good money. So this is a very different material to most Primark trousers that I've tried. It's like quite a thick material. And what I liked about them is because it's a thicker material, it's not going to be as see-through as most white trousers are. Unfortunately, when you buy white trousers online, majority of the time, they tend to be see-through. And as a hijabi, it's kind of like, well, what's the point of wearing trousers that are so through? You know, like it just doesn't go with the whole modest wardrobe thing. These are wide-legged. They've got a belt detailing here. So I can wear them with short tops. I can wear them with tunics. I can wear them with gurte. And I just, I'm a bit worried that they're so bright and white and light. I'm sure that I will get end up getting them quite mucky. However, I think they're such a staple in anyone's wardrobe and I'm hoping that they fit me really well. Again, I got these in the size 10. And yeah, I'm looking forward to trying these on and adding them to my wardrobe. I picked up two of their PS Pro makeup traveling kits. The first one I filmed a little clip on before, so I will show you now. So this is £10 and it's basically a mini version of the one that I got from eBay. It's the PS Pro range. And when I opened it in store, I saw that it was exactly the same layout. If you open it up, you have got these removable slots here which you can literally take out to suit the makeup that you're taking with you and it's got three big sections four small ones and then in the lid you've got a little pocket here which is wipeable you can put brushes here if you want to I'm going to use this for like lip liners and lip products there's a zip bit here as well and it comes with a handle and a long strap so it's just so convenient for traveling i'm going to be taking this on holiday with me and also just we're staying away for one night this weekend because we're going to a wedding so i'm going to be packing this now but on to the rest of the haul so basically i had to film that before because i was literally i'm using it today to pack so i'm taking it with me this weekend that i really like because it's quite deep and it's very very sturdy so it's going to protect your makeup you can fit a lot in there like i've got enough makeup for a good week to be honest the ebay one that i have is amazing but that's better for like so say two weeks plus away where you want a lot more makeup and a lot more variety that's the case i took when i got married um, when i went to scotland but for a week away you don't really need that much um, and then i also got this sister version of that for brushes so this is a travel makeup brush case it's from their pro line and it was four pounds the reason why i picked it up was first of all it's got this sort of like faux leather look and it's really easy to wipe you've got this um compartment in the front where you can put anything small any tissues or anything and then you zip the case open and it looks like this so you've got a really good amount of space to put your brushes here you've got two rows to put your brushes here and then you've got this clear mesh case in the inside which is very professional looking and this is really really good to keep any small bits like your sharpeners um, your tweezers your beauty blenders that sort of thing and then on this side as well you've got more space for brushes and then there's a little zip compartment here so I'm just going to show you I'm just going to actually pack my makeup brushes right now that I'm taking with me and then just show you what it looks like so I've literally just put the brushes I'm taking with me on this side I've got my face brushes my powder one that new one that I just talked to you guys about a Real Techniques Duo Fiber Contour Brush, which I use for blusher, and this is my under eye setting brush. They are a little bit used because I use them today. And then this is gonna stay empty for now because I've managed to fit my other little bits and pieces in my case. But and then on this side, I've got my eyeshadow brushes. And as you can see, I've still got so much space in this top row. And then there's a whole pocket here, and then there's space here. So really, you could actually put your eyeliners and your lip liners and any pencil type products here and still fit a whole row of eyeshadow brushes as well so if you are a makeup artist and you're looking for an inexpensive but really um what's the right word like really useful case that actually has everything you need with a little case as well and it doesn't take up too much space it's quite thin and compact this is definitely the guy for you there's so many times where i've stuffed my makeup brushes inside my makeup travel bag that i'm taking you know obviously not one of these pro ones but just like a makeup bag and the the bristles have ended up being bent and just not well looked after and then that's how like your brush life becomes so much less because you're not taking care of it the way it should be so i'm really happy with this and it was four pounds and the other one was ten pounds so 14 pounds for traveling 
but that £14 is going to make sure that my makeup and my makeup brushes are lasting a lot longer than they would be if I was just shoving them in and going travelling like that. The next thing I picked up was pretty standard, the Primark non-slip hangers. These have got the twistable black hooks, 10 for £4, so they're pretty decent value for money. And I just like how you can just put clothes on and they're not going to fall off. That's the most annoying thing ever, when you bother to hang your clothes up and then they fall off. I just needed a couple of these because I picked up the last of my clothes now for my parents' house, I think, and some of them have needed to be hung up, so yes. And the final thing is the holiday shoes and sandals. Now, I am not really a sandal person. I don't love having my toes out, my shoes out, my feet out. My toes out, my feet out. I don't love having my feet out. For holiday, I think it's definitely essential to have a pair of sandals, a comfortable pair of sandals, or two or three. So these are the ones that I saw Anika Beauty talk about on her story. These, I think, are the Hermes dupes. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below. But this is what they look like. I'm gonna try and move that, there you go. They've got this really nice pattern detailing going on. The actual sandal base is a little bit squidgy, so you've got a bit of comfort there. And they were six pounds for a pair of sandals, which I thought was such good value for money. I picked them up in black, and I also could not resist picking them up in brown as well, because brown's probably gonna be like my favorite holiday color of choice. <laughs> um, but yeah, both really versatile, and I'm gonna wear them on holiday and also throughout the summer as well. We'll see how well they last. I'm planning on, rather than doing a pack with me clothes edition for my honeymoon, I'm planning on doing a what I wore on my honeymoon video afterwards and just showing you pictures of what they look like and then kind of talking about it then because I don't a lot of these clothes that I've brought are just specifically for the holiday and I haven't really worn them in the UK so I think that I can let you know if these are a good buy then but for six pounds you really can't go wrong so I picked up two pairs of those and the last item I picked up are another pair of sandals these were eight pounds or a bit more expensive than I realized um, and they look like this you have got the brown detailing, what I liked about these was they've got a strap at the back here. So they give your feet a little bit more support than those. I mean, realistically on holiday, you're not gonna be needing too much support. You're just gonna be enjoying the sun, but we have got quite a packed itinerary going on. So for some days, I do want to have sandals that are gonna really support my feet and make it easy for me to walk and still be comfortable. Um, I like how they've got the rose gold sort of detailing here as well, and the brown color again. Not only does it look really nice against my olive skin tone, but it also just goes with most holiday items. And then the rest of the bits are kind of just like personal items and things. And it did add up to quite a lot. I don't feel like I have um, got as much for my money as I usually do, but I do think Primark are definitely stepping up their price game with their clothes to make it fairer to the people who are making them. And if that means that they're getting a bit more money and they're, you know, not being exploited, then I think that's absolutely fine. I am really happy that I got the sandals and the trousers that I wanted. And I also managed to pick up some really helpful traveling bits as well. And I will let you guys know what I think of those blemish dots and the mascara. So if you have enjoyed this video, then definitely give it a thumbs up. And if there's anything in here that you wanna see more of, then let me know down below. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.